Hello everybody, this is James with Frax. I'm glad to see you back. And I'm here to do another collab with another fragrance reviewer. This time I'm working with a guy that lives in paradise. He's in the Cayman Islands. And that is Scott. And uh, his forte is really high-end luxury fragrances, stuff that's so far out of my price range that I'll never really get to know them. But he did step his game down a little bit to talk about a fragrance that I rather enjoy, and that is this ADP right here. So let's see what he has to say and his thoughts on it, and then we'll come back to me and I'll tell you what I feel and think about this fragrance here. How's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing really well. Now, first of all, my name's Scott. I am the Luxury Fragrance Boss. You can find me on my Luxury Fragrance Boss channel um, by, of course, the same name. And I want to say a massive thank you to James. So thank you, James, um, for allowing me to be part of this, or for inviting me to be part of this collaboration. Um, and you asked me to sort of test out fragrance and, and let me know your thoughts on this one. So, um, I mean, the fragrance that James chose for me was um, Aqua de Palma's Merto de Padaria, um, which is a 2008 fragrance from Aqua de Palma, as I said, an Italian brand. Um, I do own a cup, well, I've got one Aqua de Palma in my collection, which is the Colonia Oud, um, but I've never really sort of tried out. I've smelt a lot of the other Colonia, um, a lot of the other Colonia fragrances, but I've never sort of really tried out the ones other than sort of the more expensive ones in the dark bottles. So it was, it was quite nice to try this one out. I have sort of sniffed along this line before, uh, which are all the sort of the blue bottles, and they're quite citrusy. The one, I mean, one of the things I did notice straight away with this one, when I first sprayed it on, it is very, very citrusy. I mean, that's something that Aqua de Palma are kind of known for anyway. Um, so it's definitely got that sort of Mediterranean feel about it, like you're driving along the Italian coast in an, in an open top sports car. So it, it is quite nice in that respect. Um, it did, like I say, opened up very, very citrusy. Then after, I'd say after an hour, it did go very, very soapy. So if you're into sort of clean fragrances, um, this is definitely one to check out. This one does go really soapy though. So, I mean, it, it, you definitely got to be in your clean, into your clean fragrances. I'd say rather than sort of Irish spring, I'd say it smells like Italian spring kind of soap bar. Um, like I say, it is very, very soapy. So, I mean, that is my thoughts on the scent On the scent of it. It is a very, very pleasant fragrance. Very, very easy to wear, especially in the summertime and stuff like that. Perfect for all year round here in, um, in the Caribbean where I live in the Cayman Islands. So, I mean, that's def definitely one for sort of our local residents. And that's why the Aqua de Palma range is very, very, um, very, very popular in the Cayman Islands. Now, just going through some of the notes in this one, in the top notes you've got myrtle, basil, lemon, and bergamot. Um, lemon and bergamot are used in a lot of the Aqua de Palma fragrances, especially in the top notes. Now, in the heart notes you've got sea breeze accord, which is where you get the Mediterranean sort of coastline from. Um, you've got rose and jasmine, and then in the base notes you've got mastic, juniper, cedarwood, and amber, which sort of gives it a, a very, very sort of nice, woody, but fresh base. So, I mean, it's a very pleasant fragrance. Now, when it comes to the longevity, though, I was a little bit disappointed. I mean, I'm not used to wearing eau de toilettes anymore, which is what this one is. I'm more used to wearing eau de parfum or something, maybe like an extract or something like that, because I, I generally sort of review very, very high-end fragrances. Um, however, this one, Longevity was pretty good. After about six hours though, I stopped sort of really smelling it at all. It was pretty good before that though. I mean, I was getting I was getting a lot of it. Like I said, I was really enjoying that sort of soapy clean smell, which isn't something that I'd normally wear now. I normally prefer sort of much woodier, darker sort of scents, but it was nice to have a little change. I was a big, I am a big fan of green Irish tweed, which is along those lines as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, projection, projection was pretty good for those six hours. It stayed pretty, pretty much the same throughout the time that I was wearing it. Um, and then after, like I say, those six hours, it did kind of, it did kind of die off a little bit. So, um, I mean, if you're looking for something that's sort of fairly average in longevity, fairly decent in projection, and not too expensive, but that very, very soapy smell, definitely it's worth checking out um, Blue Mediterraneo. Uh, Muerto de Panaria, so by Aqua de Palma. So, um, thank you very much for having me, James. Um, I've really enjoyed being part of your collaboration and I hope to work with you again very, very soon. Other than that, thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you very much. Again, I gotta say thank you to Scott for taking his time and his effort to put together that clip.
so that we can take our time and talk a little bit about this ADP, this Aqua de Parma. This is one that I really enjoy. I experience a lot of the same things that Scott does. Um, it comes off in the opening as an incredible citrus bomb, which is really nice in the high heat. Um, that stays for a good hour, hour and a half, like Scott had made mention of. I don't quite get as much soapiness as what Scott gets off of my skin. I will say that it's super clean, but it doesn't quite get soapy. Like when I think soapy, I'm thinking Terry Mugler's, uh, Terry Mugler's cologne, you know, the green monster. This stays really clean, refreshing, uplifting. It's kind of got a little bit of a sparkle to it. I really enjoy this, especially in the high heat. I am like Scott. I live in a very warm climate. I live in the desert here in Arizona. So this is something that's really nice and I can use it all year round. And it really shines in the high heat in the summer here. So I really enjoy it. I have and I continually will because you can see I, I put a dent in this bottle. But uh, I still got many, many more wearings to go before it's gone. So with that being said, I want to say thank you to everybody that stopped by and continuously supports my channel. Thank you very much. Time is precious and we're not guaranteed an infinite amount of it. So I appreciate that you spent some time here with me. And hopefully you got something out of this review with me and Scott. Something that will help you, you know, make an educated decision if this is something you want to invest some money in. Even though this isn't a huge amount of money compared to what that Scott buys. It's still a decent chunk of money. This is around 100 bucks. Anywhere from 80 to 100 depending on where you find it. So I really enjoy it. And remember there is absolutely no bad time to smell good. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Me and Scott both would love to see you say something in the comments and tell us what you think on this fragrance. Is this something that you have had experience before? Are you getting the same kind of performance that me and Scott are kind of getting because we're really close. It lasts a little bit longer on my skin, but not too much. So with that being said, thanks once more. And this is James from Outlaw Frags, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.